my kitchen because uh, my coat is drying Toby. Toby had a bath today, so that's what they're doing. So I'm in the kitchen, which is the furthest place away from them so that you don't hear the hair dryer going. Yeah, so my orders came today. My larger clothes to fit me just now, leggings, joggies, that sort of thing. And also a huge beauty order. So I'm gonna show you them. Um, so first, I just got some underwear that is a bigger size just so it's a bit more comfortable. I got a pair, leggings always look tiny but then when you put them on they really stretch out but um, I got these Puma pair, this other Puma pair of leggings. I really like this colour in these and this is a Reebok pair. I just think these like with maybe like a beige or a cream jumper would look really nice and autumnal. Um, I got these ones. These are Under Armour. These are more like a sporty sort of material, like a yoga legging material. So I got those. Uh, that's the leggings. And then I got, because I've been basically living in shorts around the house. Because the house is really hot just now. But some of my shorts are kind of tight right now. So I got these just a basic pair, grey joggies. And then I got a black, black pair. They're actually quite big. I think they'll be a bit big on the leg, but it's just around the house. And then I got a pair of um, Reebok long black joggies. I like these because they're long in the leg and I have like really super long legs and it's sometimes really hard to find joggers long enough. They always end up being really short. So I like Reebok for that reason. They're, they cater to long legs. Yeah so I got that. So today I had the dentist this morning. I was up at half past seven this morning at the dentist today. She didn't do much, she just took away some of the like tartar on my back teeth at the bottoms and sort of came up with a game plan for next year. Next year is the closest appointment, February, March, so I won't be seeing her till then but I do need to get some fillings uh, here because it's quite sore and this black tooth see if I can fix that but yeah so I had the dentist and then we had to take Toby to the vet he had an appointment and it just was like one crappy thing after another just now so he's been like he has like early early dementia and he also has like anxiety um which he's been on medication for but it hasn't worked and the vet said if it's not working after three months then we have to go back so we did and also his like anal glands need done. It's just that and he's always had to have done. So the vet, who's really good, he's a very, very, very good vet. He's kind of new and um, he's very thorough. He took time to like properly check his prostate. His, one of his glands was totally empty, fine. The other one he managed to express a little bit, but then he said there's like, a hard lump that won't express and with his age and things he's concerned that it could be cancer uh, which is a hard one just given Toby's age and all of my childhood we had spaniels and they all ended up with cancer in their later years and it took all of them you know, um, but we don't know for sure yet. They they're running some blood work, and if the blood work points in that direction, then he needs to have further investigation done. And they'll, if it does come back that it is, they're gonna remove it. With his age, there is obviously risks with going under, but he's healthy. He's a good weight. So he should be totally fine. They wouldn't have any issue in removing it. If it comes to that, if it comes to that, so we're just gonna go with it. I'm 
gonna try and not get too stressed out because we don't know yet but he did say as soon as the results come in he's gonna phone me straight away and let me know so that we can you know it's a relief for us or it will be we can need to get a game plan going but I have had a look at his insurance and they will cover it I just need to put through a claim for this appointment but I don't think they're gonna pay because Toby has to now have eye drops because he has this like droopy eye and he has to be on SSRIs so that's for life he has to be on them now and I don't know if the insurance are gonna cover it when you have a dog and he's part of your family you do everything you have to do yeah so it's a little bit of a stressful time but as soon as these bloods are run they do them there so it's not like they have to be um, sent away or anything as soon as they know um so hopefully um hopefully tomorrow so that's that <laughs> he's just had a hi he's just <laughs> had a bath because um well he's just had a shower because after he gets his bum done he's very smelly hey Tom. I'm very proud of your old pastor pictures. So shiny and white it is, I find the white stuff as I well. I know. Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, my, my beauty bait stuff has arrived, but I'm going to do a separate video for you on that because I'm excited. Yeah, I don't know what I plan for the rest of the day on, but I will bring you along if we do anything and I'll catch up with you later. Hello, everybody. Um, it is currently 10 to 9. We got back from shopping, we went through to Inverness just really for a nosy about and something to do and yeah it was a good day I think. I've either overdone it or I'm still not very well. The past couple of days I have been coughing up um, like a lot of blood in my mucus and I particularly today had a lot of pain in my right lung so it like comes across here under here and into my back. It's worse when I take a deep breath <coughs> or when I cough or when I like move a certain way. It's a similar pain to when I had the air leak in my lung. Yeah so I'm a little bit frightened that it's that. I spoke to my consultant today and I let him know and he is happy to see me tomorrow. I just have to wait. He's gonna give me a call in the morning and see how we go. He said if the pain is getting worse or it's changed or I get too uncomfortable then I've not to wait I have to go straight in so I'm just gonna have to see how I go because the pain is pretty uncomfortable and I'm just trying to distract myself at this point because Michael's out with the dog just trying to distract myself so I thought I would try and show you all what we bought today bear in mind I haven't left the house in weeks haven't really gone anywhere, done anything other than going through to Sainsbury's. So first of all, actually, let me show you. Michael's mum bought us a little treat. It's so funny because I had them in my basket. I had us all something the same in my basket and I was just waiting until I get paid to buy us all one, but she had the same idea. <laughs> So she bought, we're all huge Gilmore Girl fans in the Michael side of the family. <laughs> me, Michael's mom, Michael's sister, we're all big Gilmore Girls fans. Even Michael watches Gilmore Girls with me. He denies that he loves it but he does. And <laughs> so Michael's mom got me this cool jumper. It's stars hollow. Um, cozy, cool jumper. And it's such nice quality, it's so nice, I can't wait to wear it. It's, oh, I love it so much. We don't get Gilmore Girls stuff here in this country. Um, This is the first year we've ever had anything Gilmore Girls. Asda's and Matalan are selling it, um, but I would go to Asda's because Matalan is charging more. And she got Michael this. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> So yeah, that one's perfect for Michael and he actually really likes it. We can't wait to start Gilmore Girls because every autumn we sit and start Gilmore Girls. But we've been watching the Menendez Brothers series on Netflix. But we finished that now so we can go to Gilmore Girls. Michael bought me some treats when we were in Tesco's. This was on club card price and Michael picked it up and he was like, yeah, he's coming home with us. He's a witch's cat. He has a little cape. 
the cute little hat and he's so soft. Yeah, got my little witch's cat. I still need to give him a name, but I'm gonna wait till Michael's back and then we shall name him. The next thing <laughs> that he bought me, he's like, we have to have this for all our Halloween candy. We're not doing too much candy because I, I'm on a diet. I can put my healthy stuff in here. <laughs> it is a hocus pocus jar. Um, I think it's like a cookie jar, but how cool is this? Little hocus pocus jar. It's so, so nice. Then he bought me this cozy jumper. It's so soft and it's so nice quality. I shall be very, very, very cozy in it. I think he's just frightened of me getting cold. <laughs> and he just wants me wrapped up nice and cozy. And obviously Michael's mom's bought me a nice cozy jumper as well. So I don't think I'm going to freeze at all. I'm wearing them. The last thing that he treated me to is these. They're like, I guess, Birkenstocks. But they're so fluffy inside. And... My feet are so, so cosy in them. That's what I got from Michael. We got Toby this little Frankenstein toy. We got this little witch's hat for the cats because we're going to try and get a picture of each of them in it. Um, we got this for our photo wall because we need a sign to go above the door where the photo wall is. And it was in the range, I think it was like £3 something. So it's the most wonderful thing I decided to do was to share my life in heart with you. I thought it was really sweet to go with all like our memory pictures. Got some white blinds um, because after the wedding we are planning to redo the bedroom and it's so we have like this tiny 45 centimeter window in the bedroom and all the other windows in the house are 60. So trying to find blinds that are small 45 centimeters is impossible unless you like online custom get them but then they're like 30 pounds and these are 5 pound 49 from the range for the small set it's just like pvc venetian but um i always put like voils or curtains anyway it's really just a privacy thing i also got one of these because i don't have a long one to put my spaghetti in and mm. All my other pastas are in jars, so I got this to put my spaghetti in. Uh, the next little things I got, I got two of these. These are the warming sheet masks. They like you, you put them on your eyes, you chill out, and it starts to heat up. It just feels so nice. So I got these. I think these are new. I've never seen these ones before. These are Maroli and Tangerine essential oils, but they're so so nice. I love the warming ones. So I got one for like pre-wedding and one to enjoy whenever like I feel like it. Michael got himself some eye masks, like under eye things because he's seen me with my ones and he's like, oh, they look really nice. So he got himself some of those. And I also picked up a pair of nail clippers for Miss Pig, Granny Mo's doggy, um, because her ones are getting kind of blunt. I cut most of the time I cut pig's nails um, so I know that her ones are getting blunt so I got her a new set. Next I got some low calorie snacks. So quavers, you can't go wrong with quavers, they're 86 calories a bag. I got some snack jacks 78 calories a bag. I also got some knickknacks, these are a little bit more, these are 113 calories but these are the best flavour. And if you haven't tried Tesco's own popcorn, there's two flavours. There's a vanilla one, and I haven't tried this one yet, but it's strawberries and cream. But the Tesco's own strange flavour popcorn is amazing. It's honestly... I wouldn't buy any other popcorn other than this one. This now I just wouldn't, and I'm so excited. Actually, let's, let's give these a try. I'm too excited. Like... It shouldn't work, but it does. That is very, very, very good. Yeah, half a bag of popcorn is 124 calories. So you could sit and eat half a bag of popcorn. Also needed some uh, tea bags, decaf, obviously. Um, I got myself a couple of clothes bits. So the Tesco Active Range is really nice, really good quality stuff. So I got this. It's just like a sports sort of top long sleeve because coming into the colder months 
t-shirts are just a little bit too chilly and this just feels so soft like even to wear to like hospital and stuff this is a nice like loose comfy top then i got myself this was in the reduced section it was 18 pounds down to 10 pounds and it's just like a cropped sort of high neck jumper and it's really soft uh yeah last place we went to was primark and they actually have some so nice stuff they had the viral rachel green boots rachel green from friends um they had them in black and brown but they didn't have black in my size and i think i would have gone for black if they had my size but i was like so 50 50 on leather to get the brown but if we're back in inverness tomorrow they might restock and i'll see i'll think about it i picked up some socks some new ankle socks because I noticed most of my ankle socks are really light so I needed some dark ones and they didn't have a pack of all dark ones so I just got a mixture of these ones and I think they're, they're really nice anyway. Also picked up this hat, it's like a brown and cream colour uh, it says New Zealand and it's part of the Rita Ora collection. <laughs> I need to tighten it up a little bit but This was reduced to a pound, believe it or not. They had so many of these, I honestly could have bought it in every single colour. Like cropped hoodie, but it's like, I don't know, like a semi cropped hoodie. Has a nice hood. And it is the softest, like, really nice quality jumper. It's 50% sustainable viscose. I honestly could have got it in every colour. <laughs> But I thought green is like autumnal and Christmas, so it would do autumn and winter. And it's really nice, and it will go with like my leggings. Uh, I also got, I got a set for Michael's sister, they're like a pinky Halloween. And I got these ones for myself. Um, yeah, they're really cute. Little mummies and pumpkins. And tried them on like that. I always get like underwear sets when I'm there because they're so cheap and I they're all I wear is the seam free bralettes just because they're so comfortable with my nerve damage like underwire and things is too sore so they're just nice and soft and this set was reduced down to three pounds so pick that up and I also got this cardigan I have a grey cardigan similar to this that I got from Matalan and it's so soft and I wear it a lot and I thought it'd be nice to have a brown one because it would look really nice with jeans and I've seen a lot of like the cool girlies on TikTok and Instagram wearing these with like a white t-shirt underneath I have white t-shirts they may or may not have stains down them but this will cover it so it's one of these like vests and you could wear a shirt under it, you could wear a white t-shirt under it with a pair of jeans and all the cool girlies look really cool you know with like a big handbag and things I just think you know if they can pull it off why can't I and it's also really soft and cosy yeah that is what we got today uh, we also went in by Starbucks I got the maple hazel latte or something like that and it was amazing Michael got a pumpkin what was it? Pumpkin spice latte? Or pumpkin spice. Rape. Pumpkin Rape. spice wrap. And. So. Yeah, he didn't like it. Yeah, so that was our goodies that we got today. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna rest up my side a little bit. So hopefully it sorts itself out. We're gonna get something to eat because we haven't even had dinner yet. You wanna show your new toy? Oh, you very much want to show your new toy. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow! Phoebe's just enjoying the bag, to be honest. Are you showing your toy? <laughs> anyway, we are gonna go and I'll catch up with you. Hello! It is Thursday. Um, so, I had the doctors today. Uh, yeah, I because I have been coughing up blood, I've had pains in my right side. I might have mentioned it. Anyway, um, so I spoke to my consultant this morning and he wants to put me on Comox Clav, so now I'm Comox Clav again. 
Yeah, because they think maybe it's just a bit of leftover infection that haven't cooked. What else? They've sent away a sputum sample, so I coughed my little lungs up. Gave them a sample and yeah, so that hopefully the Comox have works. If it hasn't worked by Monday, then I need to get back in touch with Reed Moore and I'll go in and have some tests and see what's going on. My oxygen is still pretty rubbish, so if I take my oxygen off, my stats drop to like 89.90, which obviously is hypoxic, so I'm still having to stay on my oxygen all of the time, which is making my nose so sore. But yeah, I have my dinner cooking. I'm making a roast chicken, and then I'm going to take the chicken apart, and I'm going to make a curry, and then put the rest in the fridge. Yeah, so I also got myself this sort of J2O's have come out with their mocktails. This looks like that. And this is the blackberry blueberry martini. There's a few different flavours, but this one just, I don't know, it just looked nice. So I thought I would try it, try something a little bit different. Oh, it actually does taste alcohol -y. And it's not fizzy. I don't know why I was expecting it to be fizzy. I've never had a martini. I just thought it would be fizzy. But I've had it in the fridge, so it's nice and cold. It tastes very blackberry-ish. I don't know if I like it. Anyway, I'm going to put my pasta in my new little towel. I'm excited for that. Let's take it down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm excited to put my pasta, my pasta in my new little towel. Like, you don't expect it. I don't know, I always expect it to be <laughs> oh, Michael's got his Gilmore Girls top on. It's That's so crazy. cool. Oh, it looks really nice. Oh, I need to get one of my slippers for it. My little um, stickers. Yeah, these come in like a huge pack. I think I got them from Amazon. I get it. It looks really good. Bad news, it doesn't fit in the pantry. It's too tall. It just is like just way too big. And I have to sit it right up in the top. <laughs> it's kind of close, really. Don't know if anybody else knows this tip, but I'm going to share it anyway. When you can't get the whole jar out, add a little bit of water and give it a shake. <laughs> Probably most people know that. Do you know, in this economy, you need to know all these little things. Hmm. Food is expensive now. Cool, so I have 234 calories left today for a dessert. I need to drain my rice. I think I have made a little bit too much of Can I have a bit of skin for Can you a bit of skin? I've made way, way, way too much rice. Dinner done. I have just done 15 minutes on my treadmill and now I'm just gonna do some other little exercises. Just get myself back into things. So yeah, that's good to do that. Now I'm making my oh, well. I need to do something with myself. Yeah, I'm just making my protein shake. I went for this one. 
I got two, so this is the vanilla cream vegan protein and I also got the strawberries and cream one. But we're just going with this one. So it's 250 ml of milk and one scoop of powder. And that's 201 calories. But it's also going to help if I pull any muscles. And also my body, your body burns more calories when you eat more protein. I'm going to go and have this, see what we get up to later on. So we are back from Abbeymore. But first, actually, if you've got some really good news, it's masking in the toilet. <laughs> we got some really good news this morning. Toby, very likely not cancer. Um, his blood tests came back all good. His kidney one was like the most minute bit low, but he's not worried. So what we have to do is increase his fiber intake so that he can start expressing his glands a little bit better himself. And what we think the love might be is just like hardened fluid that's just gotten stuck in there. Yeah, so that's good news today. It's so good news. Such a relief. Um, but he still has to go on his medication, but they're going to start him on a lower dose than what was originally prescribed. So we have to pick up a new prescription now, which is fine. That's what Michael's going to do just now. Yeah, so we went through to... Bean! We went through to Abby Moore. And we picked up some bits and bobs that we needed. I had a vanilla latte with sugar-free vanilla syrup and coconut milk. And it was the best thing I've ever had. Like, I wish I'd been having coconut milk and everything. It was amazing. Anyway, um, surface cleaning wipes are really handy when you have pets that walk over your counter. Um, we got these. Well, Michael got these. They are the strawberries and cream ones. The strawberry ones are his favourite ones, so they do a whole pack now. My favourite ones are the, the yellow ones, the lemon ones. Um, vinegar, more carpet stuff, again, pets. Um, Michael got these, they are gingerbread flavoured digestive. I'm so excited to see all the Christmas food in. And he got the Mayflower curry sauce, some buckle kitchen roll, and I got a ruler. The amount of times I needed a ruler and not have one and had to use a piece of cardboard is ridiculous. So 39 pence. I now have a ruler. And we then went to Aldi. Michael got a pizza. I picked up two of these. They were reduced down to 49 pence. You get three little vases. Um, different shapes. I thought they were really cute. 14 feet. You get this little one here. This little one. <laughs> and this little one. It does have little marks on it, but I'm hoping with like a damp cloth it'll come off. I don't know whether to put them past for like the wedding or just to keep them in the house and to give my mum a set. I couldn't believe that, 49p bargain. Michael got some frozen food bits, two garlic and cheese herb bites and two packets of the salt and vinegar. Oh no, I picked them up the wrong thing. They're supposed to be battered sausages and I picked up that by mistake. You might not mind. It should be fine. Little thing now. <laughs> he also got himself Victoria mini sandwich cakes, like little Victoria sponges. He got himself this um, like like they're like fake Pringles. Also, he got macaroni bake and salt and pepper fries. He then got himself cheese. And the last thing was macaroni. The rest is my stuff. I got these um, lemon yogurts. They look really nice. I also got this to try. It's a protein mousse, lemon flavour. I got some baked potatoes, tikka masala sauce. This looks like the Sainsbury's ones and I'm hoping it's going to taste like the Sainsbury's one because it's so much easier than going all the way through to Sainsbury's if I can just get something similar from Aldi. 
Um, I got two different pancakes, protein pancakes. I've been buying my protein pancakes from Tesco's and they're like £2.50 for four. These are only like a pound seventy-five. Um, but they did like the bakery version and then the fridge version. These have banana in them and yeah, I didn't know which ones that I would like most so I got both and then next time I'm there I'll know which one I like more. So it's these ones and these ones. They go in the fridge, they don't. And the last thing I bought was for Toby. It's this um, Aroma Dog um, toy and it releases like a lavender sort of smell to it's like a relaxing toy. It has a little squeaker. Um, it's just sort of to help wait, see if it'll help with his anxiety and he can just snuggle up with it. I thought it was really cute. Right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> We love it! <laughs> Ta! Did you love your tie? <laughs> uh, I think that that is a win. He seems happy. He seems to like it. I just now need to put all of this stuff away. from Michael's sister. It's like, it's a countdown to Halloween, but it's a countdown to our wedding. So oh my God, it is. we'll get a little bit of wet like, blue tack so we can like move the little nanny. We are almost through September now. It's scary. We do have a confession to make. Oh, I've made a I thought I picked you up two sausages because they were together. Yeah. Right? They're together. Probably both. Sausages and fish. Oh, no fish fashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, it could be delicious. I'm going to go get something comfortable on because I'm cooking hot. I'm all like fat sweats. I'll let them know how the no fish fish gets. Yeah, my <laughs> He's gonna give the no fish fish a shot. <laughs> Toby loves his tie. He does love it. Yeah, you got two new toys. You got Frankenstein and the purple puppy. Aren't you lucky? I told them the good news about Tob. Oh yeah, it's good news. Yes. yes. <laughs> right, let's go get some comfy. There's a coffee crisp. Yeah. Oh, the coffee crisp. We'll try the blue raspberry. Taylor, what do you think? I love that. Very nice. Oh, that's just going to send me like. I'll Do it, car yeah. I'll clean the caravan in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there's lots of sugar. I like that one as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We have Zuzu Youth Club. Oh, that's, that, no, that's chewing gum. It's just so funny. Yeah. Right, we'll try that Save that one to last. Save right. the chewing gum. Well, what's that second one? Eat more. What's that? Uh, it's hard. Peanut. It peanut. tastes like a protein pot. Mm -hmm. Everything blue reaches tongue. Mmm. I like that. I like peanuts. 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 I'm going to have a bit of air. Oh, that just tastes like the world's original, but you can't chew it. It's so hard. Oh, no, I can't eat that. Right, that's a funny one. That's a funny one. 
Okay. And I've got, you've got some kind of tube as well. Yeah. So I'll just see mum's room and see why. Oh, it's not. Um, Alright, that's so know. funny. Can you know, let you check? <laughs> I'm gonna do no reaction. <laughs> it's like having your mouth washed out with soap. Nutrition facts. Shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, it tastes like. How do you a bit like palm of Yeah, it's like no. so. That's uh, palm of violet. Yeah, that's what it is. Is it even edible? Mum washed my mouth up with salt once. Yeah, that's what it tasted like. <laughs> it still tastes like soap. Oh, it says on that. Yeah. It's just. Oh. Well, the Halloween part. Yeah, we don't get Halloween cards here, eh? No? Ah. Ah. Oh, she be next year. Ah. Hey, There you go. Woo! Put your money where your mouth is, Jared. Alright, ready? Wait, hold on, I'll check. My attention, and this is my oh. second. Ah! So, hiya. Alright, now you're just literally walking backwards. <laughs> We are on our way to um, the Eastgate Centre where we are meeting Granny Mo, Annika and my mum and we're going shopping, they're getting their wedding outfits and we're finding Annika her bridesmaid dress and getting Granny Mo her outfit. Mum just needs shoes. And yeah, we're gonna have a fun day shopping. Um, the hospital went well, um, but I'll tell you about that later. You whip up my appetite, don't leave me high and dry. Going out to some more shops to have a look and see if we can find Granny Mo a blouse and some trousers. And Annika and Mum need shoes. Oh, we had a good lunch in MS. We got some snackies from MS. 
I'm so full and I feel like a freaking pig because I I don't have many calories left today because I had a chocolate eclair. <laughs> but yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, wasn't too many hiccups or anything throughout the day, but we're going to go out to get... Well, it's a shoe shop we're going to, and then we're going to go to Matawan. Once again, I apologise for coming on here looking like this. But I realised as I am um, editing this vlog that I never actually recorded anything on Tuesday when we got back. It, and after my respiratory appointment on Tuesday, so that would have been the 1st of October. So I had an appointment with my consultant, my respiratory consultant. Yeah, he was just basically saying I've had a bit of a rough time and um, that he hopes that things will sort of get better as we go. Like my oxygen and all that will sort of get back to what it was and things like that. I also got a new battery. He organised for me to have another battery for my machine because I was so fed up of running out. So he mentioned that and he said that no problem, we'll just get another battery. So, um, yeah, we've got that, and that's honestly, it's like godsend. He had a listen in to my chest, he was okay with it, sounded okay for me. He had a look on the mark that I've had on my face since March. Should I have got checked out sooner? Yes. Um, but because there's such a high chance of people on Sir is developing skin cancer, they have to be checked. So I'm be I'm being referred to a dermatologist. To I don't even know if you'll be able to see. It's a bit dark. It it might not show. But I've had this mark here since March, and the skin around it has started to turn a bit funny. I'll try to show you it in the daytime a bit better, but. Yeah, so I decided I'll just mention him. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anything else he said. Yeah, I think he's just quite happy. Things are stable. Yeah, just powering through. He's quite happy. Like, he's confused how I managed to do so much and things and just after having COVID as well. Yeah, he is pretty happy with how I am just now. No concerns, so... I'm jotted down, I can't remember, he said either two months or three months I'll get another appointment through to go have my breathing test. I will have a look at that and see, because it just gives my body that bit more time as well to get over Covid and see what that's done to my lung function. So that's a little bit more of a waiting game with that one. All in all, it was good. It was an okay appointment. So yeah, I thought I'd just pop in while I was editing and let you know that so that it wasn't a big blank. Yeah, that's us almost at the hospital now. Which no, late is because something caught in the driver. It's yeah, it's honestly a complete nightmare to find parking as well. Um, so we are the outpatient, right? Yes. Perfect. We have three parking spaces right inside. Nice. Let me have a double check. So. Bad luck. Uh, outpatient zone one. I don't know. Report you know. to centralised reception desk. It's not the same cardiologist, yeah. No idea, but we'll see what we'll see what's to say today. That's us here, so there I go. It's Friday. I've had my appointment up in Ringroar. We've been shopping a little bit. And I am only now realising that I never filmed anything of what we got when we were in Inverness on Tuesday with Granny and my mum. Mainly because we didn't get much. We were redoing the room a little bit. So we have just made a little bit of a start on picking up bits for that. Some of it's still in the sitting room, so I'll have to show you that after. And some of it I've already used and made up. So I'll insert a picture of the things I've made with some of the stuff that we've bought. 
I got a um, exfoliating mitt just for the shower. My granny will pick me up a loaf tin. The bits that we picked up for the bedroom, there's two more bits to insert room that I'll show you a bit. I got these pillowcases or cushion covers, should I say. Um, so I got two of those. I got two of these because I already have the little one. So I got two of the big one. It's just the um, PPC Venetian blinds. The last thing I got is huge and it's all unraveled because Michael took the thing off it. It is uh, this colour. I don't know, can you see that? It's a duvet set and it's like all fluffy. It's like a fleecy one. It's a Copenhagen duvet set. Super soft fleece and is reversible pattern. Um, but yeah, Michael took the thing off it so it's all unraveled. The other, the other two little bits that I have in that bag, I can't show you because they're gifts so um, you will see them, just not yet. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm way past. Is this lampshade. Um, the paint arrived today for the bedroom but the rest of it isn't arriving until tomorrow. The other two things are down here and are upside down. So the first one is this picture which I think is really lovely and um, it just makes me happy and the other one you can see my shadow sorry um, it's just the way the light's coming in but that's the other picture and again it's just it's so simplistic and I just think it's really pretty. It really reminds me of just where we live. Um, we do need to pick up another piece to go above our bed but there wasn't any other ones that I liked so that's where we're at with that. I need to go and change this battery so yeah I'll show you what we got today. Yeah it's pretty late night it is 10 past 10. Oh, it's been a long day. I went for a sleep. Then my heart started playing up, but I think it was mostly due to the fact I hadn't had anything to eat and I was up so early. I had five hours sleep last night, so that probably didn't help. I thought I'd show you some of the bits that I got today. We did um, we did collect some housey bits, like fabric softener and all that sort of stuff, but all boring stuff. <laughs> but we did go into Primark and things because we were looking for shoes for my mum, which I did manage to find. I'll take them to her tomorrow. While we were venturing, I found some nice stuff for myself. I haven't tried any of it on yet. First, um, I just got some seam-free underwear. This bodysuit, I don't even know what it is called. It's like a sports bodysuit. It was £10, reduced down to 3 So for £3, I was like, I'll take that. And it's just this... Um, bodysuit. It does have padded cups but it's like a built-in sports bra for doing my exercises. It might be pretty comfortable. She's having like one of those hyperactive fits. She's insane. Next I picked up these socks and uh, they're absolutely perfect to go with my leggings uh, because I have blue leggings and I have like a green pair of leggings and I didn't have any sort of socks like these. Yeah, I just think they're really retro and nice. And they were three pounds for five pairs. Um, the next thing I got is, I've been trying to find ni something nice to take on honeymoon to wear, because obviously we'll go out for a nice dinner. And I don't really have anything nice, nice. So Michael was like cleaning out stuff and it was just like I don't think like a red dress and things and I was like I I don't really think that that's me um, but yeah we managed to find this I'd have to try it on and see if I like it um, but it's this suede suede skirt um, I like that it's not too short as well it's like it comes just above my knees and I think those with my Doc Martin boots and a pair of black tights and a black top I feel like could be really smart and it's really soft as well. This next thing I got uh, is kind of long so I might have to move you back. Last year I picked this up in black 
and I wore it so much. I, I got so much wear out of it and I'm gonna get so much wear out of it again this year. I got a green um, long coat. Um, you probably will remember if you were watching me last year about this time I got a black one. It is a full length green jacket. Um, I haven't actually tried it on. I got it in the same size. Excuse what I'm wearing. I'm just in a pair of joggies and a t-shirt. I got it in the same size that I bought um, my last one in. Um, it just fits. Yeah, I just think this is so nice. Um, I have a really nice shirt that I think will go under here with anything really. I think it's just really nice. The last bag of stuff that I have, um, so I read that these are really good. Um, I got them in boots. They are kind of expensive. Um, they're about seven or eight pounds each. Um, but you get 200 mil, but I'm gonna give them a try. Hopefully they are as good as everybody says. The last thing I got was an H&M. I needed to find a bigger pair of jeans because I've been really struggling. Fitting into jeans just now, I have a couple pairs that I get into because I bought up two pairs of jeans in bigger sizes. But yeah, I got a pair of jeans. I was going to get the 10, but Michael says the size 8 looks pretty big. So I'm hoping they fit. It's just a pair of sort of light blue, straight, straight slash wide leg. I'm going to keep hold of the receipt and take them back in exchange and for a bigger size if they don't fit. We're back in Inverness next week for Horror Con. I'm so excited. So yeah, we will be back there next week. So anything that doesn't fit, I can return then. But yeah, those are what I got today. My appointment with the cardiologist went good. I had to go through all the like pre-consultation tests. Height, weight, blood pressure, um, heart rate, oxygen levels. ECG, all that stuff. Then I went in for my consultation with the cardiologist and he was basically saying, like he was explaining to me again why I have it, I was born with it, this is what happens. So there, there is, there was talk of having the ablation, which is the scarring of that extra circuit route that I was born with. I'm basically just scarring that up so it no longer is in use. But he talked through the risks a, a, a normal person would face with that procedure, which are so incredibly low and the success rate is about 90%. He said, in my case, <laughs> it's a little bit more difficult and there is a lot more risk. And the risks that might not be so fatal for a normal person would end up being fatal for me. So he is not keen on do and doing the ablation unless it is 100% absolutely necessary and the, the need to do it outweighs the risks. So, But he said there's other options so I'm on bisoprolol and that has so far stopped really bad ones. He asked if there had been like any false starts, any flutters and I said yes. Um, I get them regularly but they sort of don't come to too much. They're annoying, they're uncomfortable but it's better than going up to hospital every time they happen. He said the next step in making me more comfortable would be increasing the dose of bisoprolol and seeing if that sort of squishes the false starts and the flutters. And um, if not, and I'm still just uncomfortable, there's another medication that I can try that has good that has good success rate in sort of squishing those false starts and flutters. So we have options. He said that unless Newcastle and the transplant team are adamant that it gets done, or if the regularity of them getting so bad that I'm hospitalised again start, he wouldn't do the procedure and he wouldn't encourage anybody else, you know, to make me have the procedure. So the next step is he said I have to go away and have a think about it and decide whether I want to increase the dose or if I'm happy sort of dealing with the uncomfortable false starts and flutters. Just either get back in touch with the GP and they will just send fire off a letter um, or get back in touch with the cardiology team and let them know that I want to increase my medication and that will be fine. 
So I think that's gonna, I think I'm swaying more towards doing that. The only side effect might be that my blood pressure drops a little bit, but that's just something to keep an eye on. So yeah, I think I'm swaying more towards doing that and try and make myself a little bit more comfortable. And I hate having the pounding in the chest or the flutters. It's like butterflies in your heart is the only way I can describe it. It's horrible, it's uncomfortable and like it's just another thing on top of what I already have to deal with so if we can sort of minimalise that then I feel like that's a good option to go with. So yeah, it was positive in the way that that is me now seeing two cardiologists and they both agree that right now it's unnecessary for me to go through it. But yeah, I thought just like you know that's how that went. But I've got a lot of stuff to go and put away and I still need to exercise today. Oh, the past two days I've been leaving it so late because I've been so busy. So I will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> it is nearly two o'clock. I am exhausted already. <laughs> but um, we're just making little starts on the house. So I put like this stuff on our front door so it makes it a little bit less so people can see in. I'll show you that. And I have put up our pictures, the ones that we've got so far. I think they look really nice. And our paint has arrived from the bedroom. Um, so I'm just going to do a little tester a bit on the wall, leave that to dry and see if we like the colour. Yeah, so we went to the Brickaback rummagery sale thing this morning. It wasn't great. I'm hoping it dries a bit darker. I also need to get a smaller paintbrush. I feel like doing the edges with this brush is gonna be very difficult. Yeah, I think that's I think that's gonna look really nice. I'm excited. This is what I've done to the front door. I don't know if you can see that. I put this like foil over. Like that, so it's you know people can't see right in. I still haven't actually put up this sign yet. I still gotta do that. The stuff that we picked up today, um, so there was a huge stall and everything in it, ugh, everything in it was 50p. And um, so I got this perfume, which smells amazing. I don't actually know where it's from, but I have heard of Floral Street before. I have one of their minis. Um, and then my mum picked me up this, um, there's a lady there, she was raising money for endangered animals. And this is a shampoo and conditioner bar. And these are what I've been using anyway and I'm almost out. So you get the little bag here, the little dish to put them on. <laughs> and you get this little card here with little animals on it. This is the shampoo. It smells amazing. I honestly cannot wait to use it. And yeah, the conditioner. Mm. It honestly just it smells fabulous. It's called Leafinity. It lasts 75 washes. So you eat one bar equals three bottles. And it's sulfate and soap free. So all positive stuff. I I don't use bottles of shampoo and conditioner anymore. I had run out of one of my soap bars and I decided, okay, right, I'll just quickly use a bit of shampoo. It left my hair so greasy. So so greasy. So my hair just doesn't like it anymore. Shampoo and conditioner bars all the way. Sorry, my nose is really, really bad today. It's so blocked up and um, so like crusty and so painful so i'm just sniffling about and um, my granny mo she picked me up these they're little led um, tea lights and then i found this set um on the endangered animal store you get two two big candles in here they have a vanilla scent and the batteries are included. Oh well, yeah, you do get the Duracell batteries. You can tell it's old. I'm going to have to have Michael do a deal with that. Um, the batteries have leaked out this sort of crust. Michael always tells me, do not touch batteries that have leaked, whatever you do. Uh, although he didn't say anything about inhaling. 
yeah so I have those so my next sort of ambition is my mum gave me these they are self adhesive little wallpaper strip and they're in this sort of nice greeny silvery pattern and we are getting new new bedside tables at some point but obviously there's a lot of expenses so we're doing the room up little by little um, so I thought in the meantime I could maybe do up the bedside tables using these um, just put it on the like drawer or something. I need to upload a video because I've been really really bad um, at just postponing things and that because I'm, I have just been feeling so run down and I think it's because the week has been ridiculously busy and uh, yeah well I need to show you. I got these bouquets finished and I think that they're pretty nice and they go with the whole theme of everything. I'm pretty chuffed with them. Um, <laughs> they have all the all the colours. Um, so this is the first one, second one. And I thought for me and for uh, the maid of honour would be perfect. I do have the corsages as well. Don't even know how you hold it. Do you hold it further down or? Not a clue. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that all the colours match and I think they'll look good. So I've got those. No idea where I'm going to put them. Everything has been like stored in my calls. <laughs> Everything is down there and up here. <laughs> I've just been like putting everything in here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to squeeze the bouquets up. If I sort of just put them on top. Like that. You probably wouldn't even notice. I've hid them pretty well. Oh wow, when the sun comes in, it gives like a rainbow effect. That's so cool. I really like that. Hi Phoebe! The, the spare bedroom is an absolute hovel. It needs some serious TLC. There's cat toys and my teddies everywhere. <laughs> the Phoebe's just under the bed. <laughs> yeah, so I need to do that. And last night, I kid you not, I, I was sat for around an hour, um, like tearing leaves. And that is all I got <laughs> for the confetti. That is all I got out of an hour's work. So I'm going to have to enroll some of my family's help to get that done. The hole punch is a fail. It doesn't work. It's rubbish. So I'm just hand tearing the leaves. I'm going to go and we'll pick up in next week's vlog. Um, so I'm just going to leave it here. I hope you all have a really good week and that you've enjoyed this mashup of a video and uh, yeah thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!